Hello and welcome to a very sore, and tired, and exhausted, and quite enjoyed enjoyable um, second day at London. Uh, we're in the, we're in the airport. Bye. <laughs> Mrs. Watson, she's brave and I got in beside. I'm sorry. What are you doing that night? I am. <laughs> so we're tired and exhausted and quite enjoyed enjoyable. Um, Second day at London. Uh, we're in the airport. We're in the airport. Bye. I'm gonna cut that bad. You look a bit bald at the sides. At the shop. So it's been our second day in London. Tomorrow's our final day, and we have our flights. We're flying out of here back to Northern Ireland at five to eight, and we'll be home around nine ish. Oh. We'll be back to Belfast International oh. at nine ish. She's behaving like an embassy. We did all the shops and we got a bag load of stuff, so I'm going to go through it all. Before I do that, I want to say a quick shout out to. First, we'll do them in order of seeing them. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing this name wrong. Camille from uh, GOF Trumpers. Um, he was such a lovely gentleman. I loved his suit. She loved his suit. It was wine. It was. Wine, uh, burgundy, like a burgundy color, wine color. She, 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 lo she loved you, Camille. Um, she thought you were. It was a proper gentleman. Proper gentleman, yes, you were, you were, and you were so nice. And you said you were going to subscribe to me, which is thank you. That was it. That made your whole day. That made my whole day. Um, he was so helpful and uh, just such a so 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 courteous, genuine, and genuine. You know. And then we went round to, um, I've got the wee And thanks for the wee bag of samples. We wee, wee bag of samples, yes. Now where's the wee case? I should have this out. Yes, maybe not. Is that it? Yeah. Right. Um, the shop is called JB Tatum, or T Tatum, Tatum Luxury Gifts. That the place there. That's the shop. Um, pick it up. Yes, that's it there. Uh, Lucy Wilson. No way. Another Wilson, yes. I married a Wilson. I married Laura Wilson, but she's now Watson. But let's see if I can get that to zoom. Or, or. There. I'm using the phone. So she, as soon as I walked into the door, Who's I was. She? Lucy. Lucy Wilson. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as we walked in through the door, Lucy, we started chatting to Lucy and I said that um, I seen been i seen um a video on the shop and she said oh paul h a paul h uh, fan i said yes big paul h fan and i um shared it and i said i said i'm a youtuber i do share videos which i'm going to share very soon so this this stuff here's going to come off um but get on with joe <laughs> lucy said uh to cut a long story short I just, she yeah, knew no, you I, to cut a long story short, I told her that I was a YouTuber, did YouTube videos, and she said, Oh, you're the boy that got his chin, chin cut when the... His chin? The, Who's having your legs? His chin cut whenever you, the in-laws come in. And I'm, you're lucky you didn't get your throat cut? I was... Wow. That's, that's a, I, I'm, I was totally flabbergasted. So flabbergasted, someone knew me from Lo in London, of all places. Anyway, on with the show. We I'll go to the first place that we went to, which was GOF Trumpers. The taxi man had never heard of it, so obviously he did, isn't a shaver. Well, Joey had a big beard. My lad. So, look at the nice present presentation bag. I feel terrible opening this. Established in 1875. The bag? The, no, the GOF trumper. So, anyway, such a lovely presentation bag. It's beautiful. I hate opening it, but I have to open it to show you. Mrs. Watson kindly bought me something, which um, will not say what till we get into the bag. Did you don't remember? I do remember exactly what it is. Okay, now, I'll show you the first thing we bought. I bought, I bought this 
Uh, this is actually something that Kevy from Kevy Shaves uh, actually he recommended it in one of his videos. He used he used this a few times, and I thought I'm going to get that Spanish leather, and it smells beautiful. So that was the first thing we bought. I didn't buy any tubs because I, I, obviously we have to fly home. Do we? Do you want to stay here forever? Laura. Anyway, then Mrs. Watson bought me this. What is in there, Joe? Oh, it looks, uh, uh, is it a razor? Is it a brush? Is it a verb? Is it a plane? It's a, what is it? Well, An airplane. It's something that's wrapped up really well. It's under wraps. It says GOF Trumper, Curzon Street, Mayfair. For Curzon, um, it is a travel brush. It's only dainty. Look at that. Expensive. Super Badger. Um, Super homemade, handmade in England, GOF Trumper. And Mayfair and and Curzon, Curzon Street is on there. So that'll do me for my next video, and which I'll be doing very soon. That'll do me whenever I'm travelling. So you don't really use it, a travel brush when you're doing normal day to day shaving. Remember who closes. this. Okay, so that was that. Now, you notice I didn't bother putting it back in its plastic, uh, it's wrapping again. So, then when we were going, going to pay, this was sitting, and he said, "These." The, so I, I, we both have no idea what's in these. The samples, uh, we assume. So in here we have the following. It's oh, T O F Trumper, sandalwood cologne, little sample oh. bottle. Wow, look at that! Smell that, Mrs W. She's my official smeller. Oh. Uh, then we. Very shavish. Very shavish. Then we have the Spanish leather cologne. Smell that, Mrs. W. Very Spanish. She's in fire of the night. Oh, this is. I never heard the San Remo. Smell that, Mrs. W. I want to show the, the good the good folk in the camera. Very sandish. This is hair and body wash, which I'll probably give to Mrs. W because. Well, you should probably use it yourself. This is. Oh, it's oh, I could wash in that actually, and then a bit could smell all nicely. I could use the after shave and the, the shave cream and come in and put you in the you know in the mood for love. And look, see, she's quiet. I say she hates that. You should if you could see her face now. Anyway, so there's a little bottle of that. There you go. Mrs. W? She's not talking to me now. Yes. I'm not in the middle of speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> then it's GOF Trumper shaving cream. Ooh, a little, a little pot. Wonderful. Oh, there's loads, there's more goodies in here. Here we have another, oh, Spanish la leather skin food. Some of you guys I think you eat enough. It's not food to eat, it's food for your skin. Some of you guys will have to show me how to use that. Oh, there's more. There's the rose shaving cream. Uh, we have the extract of limes, bath and shower gel. There's more. There's more and more. Almond shaving cream. Where is it? Nuts. She thought it was nuts. I, and. <coughs> another ex uh, another extract of lime skin food oh brilliant again you guys will have to show me how to use this and the sandalwood skin food and that is all in that lovely wee bag that I'm going to keep forever not in the bag obviously because probably use it all but... so we're getting through this very right she's laughing here but she's been for the mood for the love and everything she smells me like this I love to she really, really does her not in the right top like that. Anyway, so that's DUF Trumper. As I say, they were they were really, really helpful, very genuine. Laura thought um, 
come in was a gentleman, which he was. No, definitely was. And so that was to you. The cares if you in London. Well, the wife and I are in London. Say hi, hi, Mrs. Watson. Hi, Mrs. Watson. Hey. Why are you pretending I get uh, your wife again? Shut up. <laughs> and uh, we've just been in. DOF Trumpers and Camille was the most l loveliest guy we've ever met. We bought a few things that was she showing. fabulous suit did it all. She loves it. Mrs. Watson loves your suit, Camille. <laughs> so uh, we're going to head now into Taylor's of Old Bond, Bond Street and uh, see, see what we buy in there and we'll show you later on in the video what we've all bought. So catch you it. It's really Hi. Hope we don't mix up the bags then. A few bags the same, right? Then we went to Taylor of Old Bond Street, um, which I will insert a clip of us in there now. And Taylor's of Old Bond Street. I'm going to buy this. Oliver, lemon and lime shaving cream. Save your toe with it. Good, I mean, no. And I bought from a lady this time. From a lady this time. Uh oh. Laura was trying to uh, uh, get me um, a lot of alum, and I had already bought alum. She didn't know this. I, knew, I, I, I assumed the alum was a bigger thing, but this well, is an alum block here. We all were disappointed. Alan, Laura, see Alan. Hello, Alan. No, not Alan. Alan. So I got the rose. Uh, Do you have trouble with cream? Mm -hmm. I got two of these. These are like lemon and lime. I fancied something citrusy. And I got the coconut shaving cream. So that was. Oh, and Mrs. W bought me something else. Yeah. Mrs. W. Got a drum roll. A face cloth with. It's not just. It, it's a tailor of old Bond Street uh, embroidered flannel. <laughs> what she said. So, yeah, yeah. So that's tailor of old Bond Street. They were very, very helpful. The lady in there was lovely as well. She did. Did she give? Me, she, she didn't give us her, her name. Did she? No. No. But I asked her if she would used any of the products. Did she ever know or whatever? But she said just not at this time. Not at this time. So yeah, but lovely people and so yeah. The next place we went to was Lucy Wilson's place. I don't know if she's the owner now. But um whoever she is, she's a legend. Legend, that's what Laura calls her a legend. Went to this place, the Tatam or uh JB Tatam Luxury Gifts. Uh, this is their online store. She is the director. She's the director. And their website is St. James Shaving Emporium uk, And you can find them on Facebook and on Instagram. Purveyors of Shaving and Grooming Accessories. She was lovely. And she was the lady who knew me. So she, we bought, or well, Mrs. Watson bought me some Parasso stuff. Was, uh... She called it Prosecco, yes. champagne. Um, I bought this, which is um, um, sheep's milk, or lamb's milk. Little pop of shaving soup. And also bought a little razor stand. So, and is that all? I think that's all we bought in there. 
we didn't. And she's going through like a refurb at the moment, or like. Yes, she, oh yes, uh, they're going to be uh, refurb, but they're they're doing a whole online selling thing. Um, so that's the crack there. We didn't buy anything in Dr. Harris. Were we in Dr. Harris? We were, but we d we didn't really, we didn't buy anything. Well, and finally, we went to the Duke of Edinburgh's own chemist. Although Truf he never actually goes. Truffaut and Hill, although they go to him. We didn't buy anything there. And barbers. Because we were I'll tell you, the re main reason why we didn't buy anything in Dr. Harris or. Driven hell was because we are flying tomorrow. We only we only have hand luggage, so we we're, we're sort of confined for space. But you could have bought anything. <laughs> now you tell me. But look what they give us in Driven and Hill: a baseball cap. No. And just to add, they are the Guinness Book of Records oldest barbers. Yeah, that Guinness Book of Records oldest barbers. It's actually on their card. So eighteen oh five, I think it was. They were like the kings, people, and they've a lot of military things in their shop. By appointment to His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. And is that nice we sign up? Established eighteen oh five. Laura liked the sign that says "God is our help" or "God is my help." So that's the crack, and we got us a baseball cap now. Which I was going to buy. You. She was going to buy me, but they give it to us for free. This baseball cap, I'm going to give it away. That's right. And the, how you can enter this is, you you must be my hundredth subscriber. I have currently fifty subscribers, but to get to one hundred, I want to auction or not auction, but give away this. It's a little baseball cap with from the world's oldest. from the world's oldest barber shop, Trivet and Hill. Um, if you are the lucky one to be my 100th subscriber, you get this hat. Okay? Simple as that. So, um, that's what to do. Tell your friends, tell your granny. Now we're going to go and have a shave to get rid of this little thing. Any final words, smart bum? Any final words? Mm -hmm. Any final words? Look, she's down there. Look at her. <laughs> no, no fine words. So I'm going to go now and get shaved and all beautified. It'll take a while. So I'll... See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> oh, no, it's not you, not the camera. I know. Okay, folks, all the best, and I'll see you in the shave. Love you. Why are you laughing? Because you're annoying me. Why are you laughing Just stop. You think living with in-laws is bad? My wife is just in the, in the hotel room and she is doing my bonkers. Yeah. Anyway, how you staying? Well, you've seen all the products that we bought and I'm using them tonight now. Um, I'm letting my badger brush, <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Steep, no, it's not steep. Whatever you know, sit in the water. I can't find the words because I was. I, this is the second take. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not using a proper razor. I'm using one of these because we only have a hand luggage and we're not allowed to use blades on the plane. Right. It's gonna have to rinse my face. It's been very warm this last couple of days in London. Specs back on jokes, you're not able to see anything. Right. I'm gonna fill the sink with hot water. It's a good high sink for me. Um, the sinks at home are just above my knee. This one comes to my waist. Right. 
brush as well. Soaked, soaked. Got it. Now, just uh, it need very much, just a wee bit on top of the brush. Probably too much, but then anyway. I'm going to lather up. As you saw, I got the skin food. I have no idea how to, how to use that yet. I've used too much water with this. Nice wee brush this. I've always wanted a shallow brush and I have one. Could have used all my different, I could have used any one of my um, creams but I thought because of Spanish leather um, we sample I thought I would use that. But how's all your shaves been? It's been a while since I was on. This video is going up on two channels by the way. My shaving channel, which you're probably watching this guys now. And the other one is my joint channel with my wife. Um, which probably our friends are watching on now. This is a nearly a week's growth. Pass number one on a two bladed disposable razor. Nowhere near the quality or the comfort of a D razor. Gets the job done. So, on the shave channel, guys, what have you been up to this week? Oh really? Mm -hmm. Do we rinse now? Here we go, second pass with a sweet brush. I was about to ask myself who's the guy in the back shaving, but it's the mirror reflection sending off the, the shower screen. There's a guy in here watching me. Part of you guys.
classic Instagram. Now, just to point out for the my wife and I's channel, you guys will probably be saying, "What are you doing, Joe? Going over your face a second time with a razor?" And what's the point of using a wee brush and tube of cream whenever you can get a tin and throw it in your face? Well, I'll be happy to tell you why. If you use these all the time, yes, okay, fair enough, it's a cheap shave. A pound gets you six six razors. Fair enough. But for the thing for what for a pack of five of those blades you can get up to up to twenty five thirty shaves. For as little as maybe 25p a, a blade. Get yourself a good double edge safety razor. You don't have to do that by safety razor. You can get a quite quite a decent shave from the Wilkinson Sword Classic, the new one or the old one. Get yourself a Badger, boar hair, or synthetic shape brush online or in your local chemist. I know the ones in the chemist probably aren't as good quality as the ones you'll buy online. Yaki are good ones, as well as the Trumper's ones. And there's a great feeling of relaxation when you do this. When you're lathering up, it's just just a lovely, lovely feeling when it's time. It's pick up time. What does Bonnie Edge do? Pick up time! Three, two, one, pick up time, baby! But I don't do that. <laughs> and you guys in the world in the shared chat, my wife and I tell me to think, why do you have to? And you're away. Shaving can be a totally lovely experience. Especially whenever you have scents like lemons and limes and oranges and stuff like that, the nice you know, saddle boots and things like that. Do you know what? Perfect. I have something to write back. I'm going to use the arm block to give it a wee glance around. Mm -hmm. Good sting there. Just here.
London's been lovely, a lot of walking, but lovely. And I know Laura has really enjoyed herself here. Laura just loves London, she loves it. So, put the aftershave on next. I don't know how to do this one. Right, so we sample pot. Might be enough. Oh, the smell, that's right. Oh, yes, get your hands around it. Yeah, look, smell of vision. Now, the Apache Balm, which is the Parasso, white. I think it's menthol. And that was the shave. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next shave. And guys on the on the, my wife's channel and I's, thanks for watching.